Robin here. I'm the Green Smoothie Girl, and I'm at Oasis of Healing in Mesa, Arizona with Brandy. Dr. Lodi has hooked me up with a whole bunch of different therapies here at Oasis of Healing to study and observe what's happening with cancer patients who plug into a lot of different modalities to heal their cancer that doesn't involve cutting, burning, and poisoning. And one of his favorites, I noticed, since every single day he says, have you met Brandy yet? Have you gone to Brandy? Have you had your lymphatic drainage therapy yet? And, and so finally today, I just had a treatment with Brandy. Um, this, is a, this is an exciting opportunity because she's going to show us something that I was about to do a video on, and I might have been about to show it wrong because Brandy is an expert in lymphatic health. She used to be, actually be um, an ICU nurse. Correct, correct. Yeah. And, um, but just so you know a little bit about her, she's beautiful, she's fit, but nine years ago you were diagnosed with lupus. Yes. And you exactly. are four years past, you're antibody free, symptom free for at least four years, yeah? Yes, yes. And yeah. what, what were the things that you did that made the biggest difference? Probably the biggest thing was um, juicing and changing my diet. Um, for me, I found that the juicing was like getting IV nutrition, getting all of these wonderful, great things in that you just can't possibly eat enough of. So that made the biggest difference. And then following into lymphatic therapy. So um, Brandy told me she used to be a meat and potatoes girl. Seriously, yeah. And now you're 100% raw. Yes. And I said, well, how are you feeling now, would you say? Oh, I feel fantastic. I feel like a, a whole new person. I have, um, you know, it's easy to stay fit and, and be healthy and have energy. It's just, it's different. It's awesome. Yeah, I think this is the fourth video I've done in, since this summer. It's November right now, but since this summer, I think I've done four videos with folks with lupus saying my symptoms went away when I started to eat raw plant food. So I, I don't know well, what... Well, for me, like coming from a clinical aspect, lupus is strictly inflammation in the body. It's the body gone haywire. It's the immune system taking control and doing what it wants to. And so the only way that you can really get rid of inflammation is to pay attention to what you're putting in. Yeah. So, right. yeah. All, all diseases are inflammation diseases at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the side story. Um, very excited. Brandy's going to show us the correct way to skin brush. I started skin brushing like 20 years ago and then I fell off the wagon about it because to me it was all about clearing dead skin cells because what the skin eliminates, what, like a pound of waste the products a day? The skin does so much and I'll be really, really quick, but if you look at the skin, like the constituents of sweat, it actually mimics urine. So the skin's like a third kidney and it, it really moves a lot of waste. So yes, you are exfoliating, you are clearing off dead skin cells, you, your skin regenerates every 28 days, you're helping that process, keeping you beautiful. But I didn't know but, that it yeah. also clears lymph and gets lymph moving. It does because um, underneath the skin in that space, just below the skin, the space we call the interstitial space, 70% of your lymph is there. So you can, if you're brushing correctly, affect a huge amount of your lymphatic system. Keeping that moving, that'll help keep the internal stuff moving as well, keeping it working the way that it's supposed to because we don't, um, we don't have a pump, we don't have a mechanism that's going without us thinking, like we breathe without thinking, the heart beats without thinking. Your lymph, it requires a little bit of thought. Yeah, yeah if you've ever seen lymph, like in a movie or whatever, they show the inside of a, of a, of a lymph um, duct, it, it's moving very slowly. And so mm -hmm. if, if we can get it, then we, then we have a, a river rather than a pond, if we can get it moving. And, and this is going to make a big difference with moving lymph, yeah? Yes. Yes, and moving toxins and cellulite and helping your skin. It's, it's got a lot of vanity benefits too, so it's, for, you know. Cool. Yeah. So what do so, we do with it? Do we brush towards the well, heart? What we're doing, I'm going to show you, um, teach you just really quick about watersheds and how the body drains, because yes, it does ultimately end up above the heart, but it doesn't go there. It doesn't, you're not going to brush straight to the heart. That's not the way that the body actually works. So, um, Watersheds, if we take the body, watersheds are little barriers that are within the body where the lymph will flow to it and it drops down, it doesn't cross over. So we're going to work within these, these barriers in the body, little imaginary lines on the body. So we we'll start with, there's one um, that goes straight down, so right and left don't communicate normally. Typically right and left don't communicate. Your next one, you've got a couple of hor horizontal watersheds. You've got one, uh, if you stick your, put your thumb in your armpits come across your chest, you've got a horizontal watershed here. So you've got lymph that'll move up 
this way and you've got lymph that'll come around. Your next watershed is the last floater rib, the lowest part of your rib cage. You're gonna make a belt like around your body with that. So now you've got sections, we're dividing the body into sections. From there, um, <coughs> can I stand? I need to of stand. <laughs> okay. I'll stand up really quick. So you've got then you've got one in the groin. Then you're gonna follow that around the hip to the tailbone. Okay. And then um, from there we're gonna go, there's one that's straight down parallel through the legs, out the toes. And there's one in the arm that's gonna come from your thumb if you follow your thumb. Excuse me, brush here. Follow your thumb towards your armpit. So we're gonna work in each different section. So the way though that you start, you're gonna be up here around the collarbone. This is where the drains are. You have a, um, a thoracic duct and a right subclavian duct. These are what actually dump back into the vascular system above the heart. So we're gonna stimulate along the collarbone using just circles along the collarbone. And then remember this watershed right here that's just um, following along the armpit. So this section is gonna be brushed up towards the collarbone. That's the way that that drains. From there, um, this is the place to start. From there, you can really go anywhere you want to in the body. Um, for simplistic sake here, I'm gonna start with the arm and I'm gonna move down the right side. Right and left, you're gonna treat the same way. So <clears throat> top of your hand, remember this watershed that we talked about here. So the top of your hand and arm is gonna come up over the shoulder to the collarbone. So you can do brushes in short little sweeps. This is the way I do it. Um, you can move long ones all the way up over to the top. Just try to get at least three swipes in each area so that you're stimulating and moving. You're stimulating blood flow, nerves, lymph, everything. You're also working with you know, going back to vanity, you're also working with the collagen and um, elastin production in the skin. So those of you that have had um, real thin skin from steroid damage and medication damage, you can actually change that with skin brushing. You can actually get back the tone and texture in your skin with skin brushing. So exciting. That's awesome. <laughs> so now, um, from your palm, you're gonna come up, up the arm, and you're coming towards the armpit, and you're gonna stop here at the top of the armpit. So palm of hand down to here. From there, when we're looking at the breast, you can brush the breast, of course, but you're gonna go from areola out, the nipple out. So you're gonna go like a pinwheel. You're gonna come around it and out. You're not gonna brush straight up and over it because the lymph doesn't work that way. This includes men. It's the same in men. The, the lymph pattern is the same. So if you want to do that, you can do that. What I found is if you're really working the, the parasternal nodes and the pectoral nodes over here that the breast will be free to drain, but this is important when we're looking at incidence of the breast cancer out avoiding, there. Avoiding breast cancer. Yes, yes. So, a little bit difficult here to show. So if you're coming up between the breasts, um, parasternal nodes, you're gonna come over to the side here, you're gonna come around the top of the breast and you're gonna come down here below it. So if we're going back to this watershed here, so we're working, this is the area we're working in, so we're gonna come this way, under the breast, over liver, all of this stuff going here, lower lung, all of this. And you're gonna bring it up to the armpit. And this is an important piece here because women in particular tend to collect in the armpit. Anything you have, any pad of stuff, any gooey stuff, any hard firm stuff, it's all congested lymph. We don't collect fat in the armpit. It's all congested lymph, so we wanna work on that. So making sure when you're brushing that you're not leaving it here, that you're following through and coming all the way up over the top of the armpit. Okay, this is an important thing. So the back you're gonna come around the same as you're doing the front. Bring everything to the side and come up the armpit. Do some following sweeps here to make sure you haven't left anything behind keeping this open. Um, and if you, you know. So then from there, this watershed, we're coming back to the waistline. We're actually gonna go down. This is different from what you see out there in literature. It is very different. So we're gonna go down from this waistline watershed, we're gonna go down to the groin, and we're gonna go all the way around the back and down to the tailbone. Remember this line that we had here, kind of like a panty line. You're gonna come around the hip, so everything's gonna go down. And then when you're dealing with the legs, you're just gonna stay parallel. You're not gonna cross inside and outside because of that watershed that goes down the middle. You're gonna come from the bottom, come from your feet and move up. Important, again, to follow through to the watershed. So when you're coming up the inside, you're gonna go all the way up to the top, to the groin. 
When you're coming up the outside, don't stop here. Bring it up, bring it up to the watershed, back of the leg, over the butt, to the tailbone. Perfect. These are ubiquitous. You can get these at, you know, like Bed Bath & Beyond, Walmart, whatever. Everything everywhere, one. everywhere. And you do it when your skin's dry right before you get in the shower, yes? Absolutely. Now, if, if you can't do it in the morning because your schedule says, I just can't throw one more thing in there, do it before bed. You just don't want to have wet skin. You don't want to have lotions, creams, oils. You want to have the day go by and have those absorb in. That is some of the best information I've gotten the whole time I've been here at Oasis of Healing. Super excited that you did this video with me. Thank uh, you. It's you're a lot welcome. Of people. You're welcome. That's really unusual information that we don't know and how, how fortunate we are that we're hearing it from somebody who knows a ton about the lymphatic system. So thank you so much for being with us, Brandy. You're welcome. Thank you. See you next time.